Okay, welcome to stage one of our tic-tac-toe program. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing is programming uh, tic-tac-toe so the user can play tic-tac-toe against the computer. And we're going to be doing this in a, a number of stages. And again, you don't necessarily have to do it in this order, but if we do it this way, it kind of walks you through step-by-step step some of the challenges and lets us kind of create the program in a, you know, kind of a natural uh, progression. Um, so I've already got some of it set up here. Uh, so basically, you know, like with a lot of our programs, we're going to be using uh, the, the OS uh, module, the time module, and the random module. And uh, in our case, uh, we're going to define the board. We're going to use a list. Okay, so as you recall, um, list items start with index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So basically, the zero we're not really going to use. That's just a placeholder. And if you look at our board, um, so tic-tac-toe, we're going to have one here, two here, three here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's what you see here. So that's how we'll be entering. So taking a look at the instructions for stage one, we've got to create our main loop, um, print the board. Now, uh, we're going to use a function for that and get the user input. And make and put that user input into the board. That's it. Okay. So okay. So taking a look, just real quick, um, printing the board. It's very very simple. It's just like what we've done before. Um, we've printed the board. So we have a space. We add uh, board one in this case. Then we add. I should you know concatenate technically, uh, and then just kind of go through. So one two three four five six seven eight and nine. Um, so I'm going to start with that main loop, and so I'm going to say while true, I forget our colon, and I'm using tabs, but uh, you know most people, a lot of people use four spaces. I like tabs, um, so I've created my loop. Now I need to get the user input. Okay, so I'm going to use raw input. So choice equals raw oops, raw input. So please choose. Uh, an empty space for x, and I'm going to period and leave a little space there. So when I input it, there's a little room. Okay. Now, when we input our choice, um, as we talked about a number of times before, raw input produces a string. Okay, but what we're actually inputting is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to change that from a string into an integer. So I'm going to say choice. Choice equals int choice. Okay. So the instructions say, so we need to get the user input and put the user input in the board. So all I gotta do in this case is I can say board choice equals, let me use capital X. Um, one thing I missed actually is I want to I want to kind of clear the screen first, clear, and I'm going to print the board. And actually, why don't we just print the header too while we're at it? So I've already created that. Print header. Oops, underscore. And print board. So let's save that and give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, so you can see I've got my header, which was printed here, cleared the screen, print the board, which is here, and now I'm going to please choose an empty space for X. So I'm going to go to 5, which is the center space. Okay, so 5, go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I've cleared it up, so I know this works. Okay, this is a good thing. Now what happens if I hit 5 again? So basically, there's no protection there uh, to stop me from entering the same number. So let's stop that. So what I can do is you know, check to see if the space is empty first. Empty first. Okay. So if choice, sorry, board choice okay, equals two equals a space. Then I can put the X in. If not, 
I might say something like, you know, print, sorry, you know, that space is not empty. And then let's say time dot sleep. May sleep for a second. So we have time to see that. Let's try that again. Okay, so one. Let's try and go one again. So that space is not empty. So that pretty much sums up stage one. Okay, we've created our main loop, we've gotten our user input, uh, we've put the input into the board, and then but that's a good place to that's a good place to stop and to move on then to stage two.